This is the 2021 Hurricane 35M, a Class A gas brand built by Thor Motor Coach on the Ford F53 chassis. Now this has the new 7.3 liter V8 motor that Ford nicknamed the Godzilla that has 350 horsepower and 468 pound-feet of torque. And there is a noticeable difference on this new V8 compared to the old V10 of the past. Just from engine noise and drivability, it's a night and day difference. Now the 35M comes in at 36 feet, nine inches long, 12 feet, two inches tall, and 96 inches wide. With a walk around king size bed, spacious living areas, kitchen with all modern appliances, 10 inch touch screen radio with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, redesigned cockpit with all new features. Thor also jam packed this full of all new features for the 2021 model year. So today I'm gonna go through everything there is to know about the new 2021 Hurricane 35M. Before we go any further, one thing I wanna point out is Thor makes it easy for the new RV owner to get all of the information on their motorhome. By going to their website, thormotorcoach.com, hit the owner's page and under owner's resources, you can create an account, put in your van and get all of the manuals for everything inside this exact motorhome. There will also be how-to videos and a lot, lot of useful things that you can access straight from your smartphone. Also new for the 2021 model year, Thor came out with the longest warranty in the industry. A six year lamination and 12 year structural warranty puts them in a class of their own. Now class A gas gives you a great driving experience because it sits up much higher, giving you a more comfortable ride and you also get a much broader field of view with this large windshield and side view windows. Now this front windshield is automotively bonded to the front cap, so it's put on just like your car at home. You get a nice sun visor up top to keep the sun out of your eyes. But talking about maintenance, right here, Thor's gonna give you a barrel key, which unlocks this front area, and this just pops right up. So that way, if you wanna change your engine oil, your transmission fluid, add fluids to your wiper reservoir, add an air filter, or if you, even if you wanna disengage your chassis batteries at the end of the season, remove them and keep them nice and charged. So that way, when you go to next season, you have a nice charged chassis battery that's nice and healthy. That's all done right here, very accessible. You have a nice chrome grille, which gives it a very sharp look up front. And new for the 2021 model year, Thor added in this daytime LED running light, which you see here, which gives it a very modern look, that something a lot of motorhomes have missed in years past. And then you got your fog lights down below. And what's really nice with these Class 8 gas motorhomes is they have a one-piece fiberglass front cap that's gonna protect this front area from all of the elements. You're also gonna notice your side view mirror here. It's power adjustable and heated. It's also got a second mirror down below, so that way you get a great field of view down the side of the motorhome, and you get a side view camera, so that way whenever you engage your blinker, your blind spots displayed right up on the front dash, eliminating any blind spots. You also have another window right here. Now this is a trucker's window or a doggy window. A lot of pets like to hang out down here, watch everything go by, but it also eliminates another blind spot. Now you do have 19 and a half inch Goodyear tires, which you see right here. The Hurricane gets even better as Thor just released the new Max Pack upgrade for the 34J, 34R, and 35M floor plans, which includes the 22,000 pound Ford F53 chassis, 22 and a half inch tires, polished aluminum wheels, and increased basement storage capacity. And then just talking about construction of this motorhome, it is a fiberglass exterior that is vacuum bonded and laminated onto the aluminum structure. It is fully insulated with a high density block foam insulation. Now, it is a full metal cage because you have aluminum sidewalls, aluminum roof, and a steel floor. There are four color options on the Hurricane. You get two non-paint options, which are just graphic packages. Then you get two partial paint options. This is your Great Lakes partial paint, and there's also a Rio Grande partial paint, which is a red instead of a blue. Now, you do get a legless carefree awning. One touch it goes out, one touch it goes in. You, to operate this, you just have to have the engine off, so that way you don't drive down the road next lane, let it out and have it blow off. So engine on, parking brake engaged, chassis, or house battery on, press the button, comes right out automatically, has a motion sensor on it, so that way if the wind's blowing, and it, moves, 
on its own. It will retract back in automatically. And also you can change the pitch at it on it. So you just take it into your uh, local technician. They can change the pitch and adjust it for you right there. But it's nice, it doesn't have any legs so that when you're walking through the campsite, you're not gonna hit your head on anything. And it also has LED lighting on it as well. Now how to operate that, it's extremely easy. This little switch right here turns on your house battery. That gives you power to the motorhome. Now, once you do that, you'll have another switch that will operate the awning. So one touch, the awning will go out. So it's extremely easy. And what's really convenient with it is one touch it goes out, one touch it goes in. You don't have to hold it the whole time. And also, we'll show those lights for you. Got the awning light there. And one thing to point out is your windows. They're all frameless windows, so no seals will be exposed to the elements that will be breaking down and needing to be replaced as time goes on. Also, you can have them open in the rain, lets in great airflow. Another thing to point out is all of our baggage doors. They're all going to be side hinged, so easy open and close, and slam latch, so no rotary hinges. And all of our storage bays are going to be made out of a rotocast plastic, so it's a durable plastic that will not be um, it, allow any mold, mildew, or rust. So if you are out all day hiking, you can put your muddy boots in here. And then what's nice with it is you can wash it out with a garden hose and you will have drain holes in all your base. So that way you can just clean it out plain and simple. But great pass-through storage here, a ton of storage space. And you do get LED lighting in all of your storage base. So that way you can see everything. And this is controlled through the multiplex panel on the inside or on the cell phone app, the Vega Touch Mira app, which you can do everything from your cell phone. Now, right here, this is going to be your exterior entertainment center. It's a 32-inch flat panel TV that's actually on a swivel. So that way, if you have a campsite set up, no matter where you are, you can get a great field of view. This does have a Bluetooth soundbar, so you can get a much better quality of sound. And it's just magnetically backed, so when you're not using it, you just put it right back in. fits right in place. Going down, you're going to see you got a ton of actual storage space. So... That's one thing that's great with the Hurricane is it gives you a ton of storage, but a lot of pass-through storage. Right here, you'll notice this is actually your steel foundation. It's actually a steel I-beam that goes from sidewall to sidewall that's laser leveled at Moorride, and that's what our flooring actually sits on top of. Right here, this is going to be your furnace. It's a 35,000 BTU furnace. And one thing to always remember is when your furnace is on, this exhaust right here will be hot, so always be careful of that. Then this right here is gonna be your LP tank. It's 88 pounds of LP, and you just get it filled at any LP filling station. They'll just remove the yellow cap. And one thing, the first time you fill it up, you might need to purge the air. So you'll just need to wait a little bit, purge the air, and then fill it up, plain and simple. And there is a manual uh, on-off toggle switch that just kind of fully disengages it. So whenever you fill up your gas at the gas station, just always remember to uh, turn off the toggle switch so that way you don't have to worry about sparks or anything that could put you in a bad situation. You do get one 10 outlets right here to keep your cell phone nice and charged. And then more storage on the back end here. And there's gonna be your black and your gray tank, which are elevated above the belt line and fully enclosed and heated. And right in the back here, this is gonna be your rear tires. And you do get a valve stem extender for the inside tire. And always remember, you always wanna keep up on your tire pressure. You always wanna make sure they're properly maintained so that way the life of the tires is fully utilized and you can extend the life of it. This is going to be your potable water fill. It's a gravity fill. So this is where you just put fresh water into your tanks. It actually doesn't need pressure to fill it in. And then more storage on the back side here. So great finished off storage here, fully lit. And this is pass through storage. So I mean, just talking about storage space gives you a ton of actual storage here. And right back here, this is going to be an LP Quick Connect. So you have any LP appliance, it just plugs directly right in here. This goes to the LP tank we just went over. Uh, this does have a regulator on it. So if you have a gas grill that has a regulator on it, uh, you might need to take off the regulator on the gas grill because you get too slow of a flow and just use the regulator right here. Uh, but it's really simple and really easy to use. More storage on the back side here. As we go around to the back end, you're gonna notice you have a one-piece fiberglass rear cap, which is kind of a keynote of all higher-end units. It gives it a sharper aesthetic, but also protects that back end. 
you do get LED brake lights and a reverse light, which you see right here. You do get a rear view camera up top, which gives you a great field of view. And it's actually a very wide field of view as well. So you can see everything behind you whenever you're in reverse or just going down the road, you wanna look at your tow vehicle, you can do that as well. Down below here, this is gonna be your 8,000 pound trailer hitch. Now you do get a seven pin connector as well. Um, and also you always wanna remember, you get a 500, 500 pound tongue rating. You don't wanna exceed that tongue rating because that actually translates over to your rear axle um, and the weight that actually goes onto the rear axle itself. And you just don't wanna exceed that. Um, so this is where you use your gross combined weight rating and your gross vehicle weight rating. So your GCWR and your GVWR. And that's where those come into play. And they have a nice warning sticker here on the back side as well. That kind of goes over everything for you. And all this information is inside the manuals when you get your motorhome so you can better understand it and be more prepared for it. Now you do get a rear ladder on the back that gets you all the way up to the roof. Now this isn't so you can put a patio up on the top area. This is so you can do your yearly maintenance, check your seals, clean off the roof, make sure everything is A-OK -okay up there. And also this has the new 100 watt solar option. So you can also check out your solar panel up top there as well. And we'll get up there in a minute so you can see everything up on the roof. And then as we go around the side here, you're gonna notice this bay right here, this is gonna be the dump station for the rear bath. So you get a swivel head, kind of how the operation of this works. When you're not using it, you're not dumping it, swivel it up. When you wanna dump, swivel it down. Then you're gonna have a black and a gray. The black's gonna be for your black tank, that's your toilet water. Gray is gonna be your waste, like your shower, your sinks, that's where that comes into play. So when you wanna dump it, dump your black first, let that drain, then do your gray, then push it in, push it in, you're good to go. Um, you also get a black tank flush right here. So that way, after you're done dumping your tanks, you have sensors on the inside of that tank. What this does is you just connect the normal garden hose and it cleans off the sensors inside that black tank so that way they will read properly. Then when you're done, you just swivel it back up so that way you don't get any drippage. Right here, this is gonna be your cable connection. So that way you can hook up to the cable inside the campground. Then you do get uh, your 50 amp shoreline connection right here. That's gonna be where you plug in your cord. It is a detachable cord, so it's extremely easy to use. It is located right there. So you just plug it in, you're good to go. Also, your fuel fill is located on the driver's side. So always remember that and take note for when you are going into your gas station. And it is 80 gallons of gas that you have available to you. And just remember, unleaded fuel, they don't let you forget that. And then the other side of your pass-through storage. Now, you do get a six gallon water heater. So this is your water heater right here. Nothing you really need to do or worry about on this section here. Get your city water connection. You do get a grit filter right here. Now this is where you put in pressurized water from the campsite. So um, this is where you're gonna use that white hose with the blue label on it, connect it right in, you're good to go. Do get your chassis exhaust and your generator exhaust. Right here, this is gonna be your main dump station. Just like the one on the rear end, you got your swivel hose, swivel head right here. Swivel it down when you wanna connect your hose. So you connect the hose, pull the gray, black, empty it, pull the gray, empty it, push in, push in, you're good to go. Um, what's nice is they do put in an outside shower right here. So that way, um, when you're done dumping your tanks, you got your nasty sewer hose, you can turn your hot water right here and you can actually clean that sewer hose Get it nice and clean so that way it's not stinky, gunky, and you just put it away nice and neat. And then you also have another black tank flush down there as well. Also, your tanks are going to be heated and fully enclosed. Right here with this area that you see with the little grill, that's gonna be your Cummins Onan QG5500 gas generator. Now this is your generator that's gonna run off the main fuel tank. Um, this is something always to point out, a lot of people never fully use their generator. Um, how this works is um, you turn this on and it's going to give you power to use all of the appliances on the inside. So your air conditioner, your TVs, your microwave, all of those functions are possible by this generator. Um, and a lot of people don't use this the amount they should. Uh, it's an investment you make in your motorhome. Use it. You're driving on the road. Turn the generator on. 
it's going to shut off automatically out of, out of a quarter of a tank, so that way you don't ever run yourself out of fuel. Um, so always use your generator. You can use it more than you think. Don't be afraid to turn it on and let it run. Now going down here, more storage, just a ton of storage. And that little box right there, that's basically the brain box for your slide out. Um, just to point that out. But here you can see those steel I-beam foundation that run sidewall to sidewall that your floor sits on top of. More storage space, pass through storage. Then that's gonna be your inverter. It's an 1800 watt Xantrax inverter. And I'll go over how that works and what all it operates on the inside once we go. Then right in this bay here, this is gonna be your battery bay. So right here you have two house batteries and the disconnects for those are right there. So at the end of the season, you wanna turn everything off, just disconnect it. Um, and you get room for more batteries if need be. Then also this is gonna be your hydraulic jack motor right here. Um, why we put it right here is it's easy to access. So if there's ever a time where you need to manually override it, um, it's very easy. It's all displayed in your manual, how to manually override your jacks. And Thor actually has videos on their YouTube page of how to do that. Um, so it's extremely easy and very convenient to use. Then going the side here, you see the other side of your mirror, power adjustable and heated mirrors, and then you got the side of your camera there as well. Now that we're on the roof, you get a great field of view of everything up here. You can see the new 100 watt solar panel option. Now that's gonna charge your house batteries, keep them, give you nice, clean, free energy. Here you're gonna have your rear 13.5 air conditioner, and then your front 13.5 roof air conditioner located up there. Your max air fan vent up front there, that's gonna be your WineGuard Connect 2.0. That is your 4G LTE hotspot. Um, very easy to operate, you download the WineGuard Connect app, and it walks you through the setup process. There's a QR code inside that dome and in your manual. Scan that QR code, get your credit card information ready, choose the package you want, and that's as easy as it is. Now, what's nice with this roof is it is a seamless roof. So no seams along the side where this actually attaches. So there's no leak points on this front, on this top of this roof here. You do get your top of your awning there with a nice cool uh, fade from black to white. And then you do get 360 siphons. Those ventilate your tanks, so your black and your gray tanks is gonna keep them ventilated so no gases or fumes come up into your motorhome. It's gonna keep your motorhome smelling nice and clean. See the dome to your shower? Another air fan. Here's that vent, you see. But just take note. This seamless design of this roof here, it's very impressive. Then also, awning toppers come standard on all of your slide outs up here. And with this roofing material, it's a TPO roof. So it's called thermopolyolefin. It's a mixture between a vinyl and a plastic. What's nice with it is it is very lightweight and very durable. Um, it requires no more maintenance than a fiberglass roof. It's actually much lighter than a fiberglass roof, so you're not gonna get as much sway like you would with the heavier roofs. But also it requires no treating like it would with a rubber roof, because rubber roofs are very porous, absorb all the moisture, dry out in the sun. You need to constantly treat it to prevent that from happening happening because they're going to crack, break down, and it's a pain. This you'll never run into that because it is non-porous, UV resistant, very light. It's a great material. Only things you'll need to check are the self-leveling lap sealants that you'll see around the different articles up here. So just twice a year, come up here, check, make sure they're not dried, dracked, or peeling. A dried, cracked, or peeling, sorry. If they look good, you're good to go. Um, if they looked a little dry, Put some new sealant on there. That's all it takes. Um, extremely easy to maintain. Now that we're inside the motorhome, let's go over the layout a little bit. First thing you wanna to touch on is the overhead bunk. So this overhead bunk operates electrically just like your slide outs. So you wanna make sure you have the engine off, uh, but you wanna make sure you always have full power so have your generator running and operate this. You wanna make sure the cockpit seats are reclined so that way you can get the bunk all the way down and when you get it all the way down you want to run it the full cycle so that way it fully reaches bottom that way the motors don't ever get out of alignment then when you want to go up run it all the way back up and there are two pins that keep it in for safety that you'll see right there so when you have it up and you're driving put those pins in place and let the bunk rest on top of those pins There's also a ladder that attaches right there so that way you can get up easily. And there's also a netting that goes in place there. 
going over here, you do see that we have a leatherette booth dinette. Now, this is a very functional area, big for your living space because you can have breakfast, lunch, or dinner here. You can just be hanging out watching TV. But this also forms into a bed. So the table top that you see here actually folds down. And then you put the back cushions on top of that to make your actual bed area. You do have two seat belts on each side of that. So that way you can be buckled in place while you're driving down the road. And you also get storage in here as well. So you can see the storage just pulls right out. Got good storage space right there. And same thing for the other side. Good storage space right there. And then you do have your switch panel right here to operate the bunks and then the ceiling lights. You are gonna have a nice window right here and you do get the curtain shade to go down to block out the sun. But it just goes up and down just like that. But you do have the jealousy windows right here. Um, so that way if you wanna get some air in, you can just open up the windows, get some airflow coming in. You can have it open in the rain. Uh, it's not gonna allow any water to come in, which is really nice. But put the curtain down, just like that. And one thing to hit on is all your trim work all around your slide out is all solid wood. Now this is our Carolina Cherry. This is a new um, wood color for the 2021 model year. So you're gonna see a good look at that Carolina Cherry cabinetry. But great cabinet space. all throughout this area. Now here's gonna be your jackknife sofa. You do have three seat belts right here. And this folds out into another sleeping area. So a lot of sleeping space, you got your overhead bunk, you got your dinette, and then you have this jackknife sofa right here on top of your actual bed itself. This fits three people, and you do get a cup holder right here, so that way you can put your drink in nice and easy. And then you do get that very large window right behind it. That you see we have the curtain down right here. And it does have the jealousy windows behind that so you can get some airflow inside as well. But what's a really nice feature is up top here, if you look up, you'll see you do have speakers. These speakers are controlled from the front infotainment center. Very good speakers at that, Xero speakers. And notice all your electronics on the inside of the motorhome are gonna be Xero brand. Here you got 110 outlets as well so you can charge your phone or anything that's inside stored up. You got some more lights right here, push button lights. And then these, this right here will control the uh, dinette lights, another speaker, and then you got your temperature sensor right there. And then right here, some USB uh, charging ports, so that way you can charge your cell phone or any other appliances nice and easy. Now going over to the kitchen, first thing you're gonna notice is you have a lot of cabinet space up above. So you get the double doors right here that allows you to put any large items in. There's no center styling that would obstruct you from putting anything in. You also have more cabinetry space up above the entry door. And then going around, you have another cabinet above the microwave. And that cabinetry is gonna give you an HDMI sourcing unit so that way you can get a satellite hookup, PlayStation, Xbox, you can hook it up to other TVs or the outside TV. And there's 110 in there as well. But going into the kitchen space, you're gonna have solid surface countertops, so very high end stainless steel double bowl sinks so that way you get one for dirty one for clean and you get the very hard heavy tops of that as well so you can use it for more storage and they're not going to come off when you're driving down the road and then your sink is going to be a retractable faucet head and it does swivel and it has two different spraying options and you get hot and cold adjustments on that you do have the window behind so that way you can see the kids outside running around and just block out the sun going over here this is your Furion oven. So you got a nice size oven right here. And then it has the blue light up LED lights around the actual handles to turn on the flame. And then you get the three burner cooktop right here. Just make sure your LP is on to get the actual flow of LP going. And then you just light your flame, set the adjustment that you want. What's nice is you have that glass cover so that way you can use it for more counter space. Then you're gonna have an actual tile backsplash, so that way it'll protect the walls from any uh, cooking debris. And then up on top of that, you have a contour residential microwave. So very large microwave, you can do all the cooking that you want. Uh, all this, this is gonna run off your generator or if your shoreline connection. So make sure you got some power to use this. But it's just like your microwave at home. 
then down below you are going to get more storage underneath the oven so that way you can store any pots or pans that need be and it has a nice look to it and really matches with the oven itself then you do get four pull out drawers right here just so you can see how large these drawers are very large drawers and all four pull out then you are going to get more storage space underneath the sink itself but disregard my cleaning supplies uh, always like to clean the motorhomes before i actually do a video and then you'll have your furnace um, outlets right there another thing to point out is your refrigerator so this refrigerator it's really nice the black stainless steel and this is a contour brand refrigerator the nice thing with contour like i said earlier is it uses less amps than a lot of the other residential refrigerators because this is a residential refrigerator it runs off of 110 power so you have to have your generator running be plugged into short power or have your inverter on so that way it uses power from your 12 volt to 110. and this does have rapid cold technology so that way it's energy efficient cooling and it gets things colder faster right here you're going to notice you do get the little lock so that way when you are driving down the road and you got a gallon of milk in there and you do a sharp turn it's not going to bust open the fridge and let everything spill out it's going to lock it in place but a very large refrigerator at that got my waters in there we can adjust the actual temperatures that you see right there and then up top you do have your freezer you can adjust the temperature in the freezer as well up on top of the kitchen area you do have a fantastic fan it's got a nice ventilation right there while you're cooking and you all you have to do is turn it on and then you get four settings one two three and four and then you just open the vent so you can have it on when you have the vent open or you can have the vent closed and just use it like a normal fan it's nice because this gives you good white noise um, if you like noise when you're sleeping you can just have that on get some noise going going over next thing to the refrigerator is going to be your pantry space so nice thing with this floor plan is it gives you a lot of pantry space to store any articles of food or anything cooking materials and it does have the pull out drawers that you see right here that come out and allow you to put things in and out very easily in the last area of the living area is you do have your tv and fireplace Yes, this does have a fireplace. This is a Furion fireplace. It actually emits heat. Uh, so it's an electric heater that you see right here. You can actually change the color on it, which I think is pretty cool. So you have a bunch of different settings right here. You can adjust the temperature, um, the display of the light, and then you can change the color. So it has that purple and yellow, then it has the blue, which is pretty cool. Then up above is gonna be your Xero TV. Remember all your Electrical appliances are all going to be Xero brand, which is really nice. They've been in the industry forever now, um, and they have done great with all their uh, speakers, TVs, radios. Then you got more storage up above that you see here. Next area we're going to cover is going towards the bathroom. But before we get there, one thing you're going to see is you do have the louver doors right here. Now that you see the louver doors, you know that's going to mean you have washer dryer prep. So what washer dryer prep is? means that we prep this so that way Ford Motor Coaches prep this so that way you can actually put a washer dryer unit in here or put a combo unit in so behind that panel right there you're gonna have uh, hot water connection cold water connection and then an inch and a half a drain valve then you get 110 outlets in there as well but if you don't want to use that for washer dryer you can use this for extra storage space but just so you can see how large this area is it's a very large area and you do get storage that pulls out underneath there close that for you and you do see more storage underneath and then across from there is going to be your bathroom and notice it is a full door no gap in that that they say is for ventilation because it's a fully ventilated bathroom but going here you get a nice looking bathroom area you got your nice big mirror stainless steel bowl sink hot and cold adjustments and then storage underneath you do have your GFI outlet right here if you're ever getting an outlet that's not working just come over here this gfi controls all the outlets so you have a reset and a test um, if you get a yellow light that comes up that means you just got to reset it and then you're good to go and then you got more storage underneath here but you can see you can access all your drain 
where all your piping right there. But then going in, you'll notice you do have a porcelain toilet. And this does have the foot flush. And I wish every toilet had a foot flush, foot flush to be honest. Uh, that way you don't have to touch it. But what's nice, when you're using this, you wanna make sure you have your water pump on, but you'll hit the flush halfway, it allows water to get into the bowl, and then you hit it all the way, and then it dumps the tank, or dumps the toilet. You do have your furnace outlet right there. And then you do get nice size storage behind the actual toilet itself. So if you have toilet paper, other articles you wanna get in here, this one's really deep, that's pretty nice. But notice, you do have ventilation in the bathroom. So you have a vent fan right here. So you have air in, right there, air out, and heat in. And you do have your manual switch panel right here to control all the settings. And then there is some towel hangers on the inside of the door. Now going into the bedroom area, you're gonna notice you do get the very large king bed. It is a walk around bed, so you, get, you can actually walk around both sides, make the bed very easily, get in and out nice and easy. And you do have windows on both sides of the bed, so that way you can get some cross ventilation in here or just get a nice view when you wake up in the morning. Um, you can see your pillows, you get very good look, nice looking headboard. You do get reading lights up above the bed and you do have a temperature sensor that you see right there. Uh, but you do get three cabinet areas up above the bed so you can store books or any other items that need be. And just talking about um, power, you do get 12 volt outlet, so that way if you have a CPAP machine, you can plug it in right here. Uh, it's very efficient. You do get USB outlets on both sides of the bed, and then you get 110 outlets on the side of the bed as well. But something you have to point out is you always want your own space when you're in your bedroom. If you got friends with you, you got kids with you, and you want to make sure it's nice and quiet, you can actually close off the bedroom area with the actual pocket door, and now you got your bed space. Now, as you look across the bed you'll see you do get the 32 inch flat panel tv that does pop up for more storage so that way if you got a playstation xbox dvd player you want to add in you can plug it in directly to the back of the tv which is nice and efficient and you do get more storage space right here and then nice counter space this is a good charging station you got a laptop or something you want to plug in you got 110 outlets right there and then usb outlets as well as well with the tv right here with the exit latch then here's your other switch panel for the bedroom area. Remember all those switch panels are removable, so you can just pop them off. But down below, great storage space for any clothes. And then more storage space right there. And then going around is you do have six more drawers for any other articles of clothing. So very deep drawers here. So you can put a lot of clothes inside here just to give you an example, and they're all the same size. And as you're going up, you'll see your wardrobe space with the big mirror, so that way you can get ready in the morning and see everything. But you do get the hanging space, so if you have clothes you wanna hang up, you can put it all in nice in here, or just use this for storage. You will notice you have the coffee table that goes in, locks in place right here, and that goes in the front cockpit area, so you can have coffee in the morning. And then there's also another door to access it as well. And then, this being a bath and a half, now you can actually see your shower space. So it's nice with the Hurricane on the 35M is you get a nice glass shower door. So it's not gonna be like the curtains that get stuck to you when you're taking a shower. This is nice and efficient. It locks in place when you're driving. It's not gonna slam all around. But you do get a one piece shower wall. That's one piece and you do get the pan underneath. But you have your sprayer right here. Just goes right in place up top so that way you can take your shower you got the nice skylight up top so that way you can get plenty of room but a very large shower with hot and cold adjustments on there as well and you can go down to the drain and you do have your furnace outlet right there and coming across the bathroom you can see the amount of actual storage space in this bathroom is pretty impressive you have pull out drawers And then you have storage underneath the sink. But you can, as you can see, you can access all your plumbing very easily. And then more storage next to the toilet. And then even your medicine cabinet opens up. So that way you can store any other articles in here. Got your towel hanger right there. And then you have 
more storage, more storage, and more storage. Another towel hanger. You do have a window with the curtain behind the toilet, and then here is your master toilet with the foot flush. It is a porcelain toilet as well. New to the 2021 model year, Thor just released the new Coastline Gray Cabinetry for the Hurricane, which is going to be a modern interior look, a lot like you're finding in the residential style now. So you're going to see the new cabinetry design as well with all new decor coloring. I'm actually really excited to talk about this cockpit area because with this new 7.3 liter V8 motor, it actually made a lot of changes with the new chassis. So first you'll notice you do get a much smaller doghouse compared to the doghouse you had on the V10. So this actually covers your motor. Um, this used to be a lot higher up and used to get in your way when you're trying to get in and out. Uh, but that's a fiberglass covering and there's a heat shield underneath that to w as well to disperse the heat. Um, but you get nice cup holders, on three cup holders there and some storage space for your cell phones or anything else that you might have. Uh, but you're, you can see here your captain's chair. Very comfortable, got to be honest. And it's power adjustable with the armrests there. And these do swivel all the way around. But here you can see the new steering wheel on this new chassis. It's actually a really nice steering wheel because you can just sit back, hold it right here, and cruise down the road. You do get your cruise control functions on the left side of the um, steering wheel there and then on the gauge cluster itself you'll have a lot of different settings you'll have you can actually see your fuel economy I'll get that started for you just so you can see there you can just mess around you can see fuel economy fuel range there we go just a lot of different things that you didn't have before uh, but a little different setup compared to the v10 chassis but something, some other things to talk about. I'm gonna go over the jack operation right now. It's a very easy process. So you just pull up to your campsite. First thing you do is you still, while you still have the engine running, is you're gonna engage the parking brake. And it's gonna give you that notification on that blinking light on the bottom left of that panel. So I'm gonna engage the parking brake, light's gonna go off. And now all you have to do is hit the auto button and it will automatically level the motorhome. If you wanna manually do it yourself, hold the manual button and then go arrow by arrow to level the motorhome. Now those arrows show the different areas of the jacks. So you got your front jacks, your right jacks, your rear jacks, and your left jacks. The blinking lights indicate the areas that need to be leveled. Then when you're done, all you have to do is hit retract and it will retract the jacks automatically. And what's nice is they'll have blinking lights showing when the jacks are down, the light will actually light up. And then when the jacks are completely leveled, this LCI button right here will light up green and obviously the jacks are up right now so it is not lit up but it's a very easy process to do and you want to make sure it's gonna be about a minute process maybe a little longer than that um, and you want to make sure you're sitting still not moving around the motorhome so that way you can get a proper reading and it's just gonna basically make the adjustments based on the reading that it gets now on the driver's side you do have a cup holder right here it's very comes in handy pretty often 
You got your mirror heater that you just turn on with that switch. You do get your mirror adjustments right here, left and right. And then your speaker. And then right here you have your emergency start. So remember your chassis and house batteries are connected. So if you ever have a situation where your chassis battery is dead, but you have a full um, house battery, you can hit the emergency start and it'll send pretty much jump your chassis battery. So that way you can get the chassis going and it works vice versa with your house battery. Got a full chassis battery, dead house battery. It allows you to jump the house battery, get your generator going to charge up that house battery. You got your fog lights right there. And then new with this chassis, you do get the auto headlights, which is honestly a really cool feature um, and very modern, something that this really needed. And there's a cell phone holder there as well. And you do get two USB outlets. We gotta say they come in handy. They actually charge your phone pretty quick. I just did about a thousand miles on this actually. And I gotta say, I love this new V10 or this, yeah, sorry, this new V8 chassis. Uh, much better than the V10. Um, it has more power with it, but the biggest things that I really noticed was it's not as loud as the old V10. The old V10 really screamed where this is more, has a better noise to it. Sounds a little sportier, but it's much quieter. But also it handles a lot better. I noticed going around turns. Suspension's great, braking is great. It's honestly a much better drive. I mean, I drove it through the mountains. I drove it through a complete torrential downpour last night and it really was much easier than I remember with the old V10 chassis. So I really like that. I'm really happy about uh, this new V8 chassis. And right here, you got some other buttons to mess with. You got your sunshade and that sunshade, that's nice because while you're driving, you can put it down a little bit so that way you can get the sun out of your eyes, uh, but it won't go down any further than a little bit while you're driving so that way it's not ever gonna obstruct your view. Um, but it goes down and gives you a privacy curtain as well. Then you got your cab lights, so that way you can get some light when you park your campsite at night and get some light in here. You have your generator start button, so that way what's really nice is you can just pull up to your campsite, start your generator, put down your jacks, you can even have your cell phone out, get your slides out, all without leaving your cockpit seat. You got your driver's fans, and really how those driver and passenger fans work is they're not meant to really cool you down. They're to help defrost the windows. So you face them towards the window so that way you get better circulation um, to defrost those windows in the fall or spring. Then you do get two air conditioning blowers on each side of the captain's area. And honestly, I think the greatest thing about this, and I am I don't get geeked up about a lot of things with our like RV related, this blows me away. So this is the new Xera Dash Radio that has Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, Sirius XM, normal radio, Bluetooth connectivity. It's all touchscreen. You control the front speakers, the house speakers. You can turn them on and off, uh, but it just has a lot of different things you can mess with. You can turn on your rear camera, but look, it fills up the entire screen. And here's the other thing I want to point out. Right camera, left camera. Look how quick they switch. A lot of times on these motorhomes of the past, what, what happened was you hit the blinker and by the time you turn, there was like a three second delay and the camera would turn on and you had already turned. These are very quick and easy and extremely fluid. I love it. Um, but just how it fills up the entire screen, really nice feature to talk about, but also the picture is great. It's like a 1080p, it's gotta be, um, but the Apple CarPlay is so quick, it's so smooth. As soon as you plug in your phone, it comes right up. You got your Apple Maps, Google Maps, Waze. If you got any other uh, map system that you use, it works awesome. Um, so it's a really, really cool system. It looks great, and I think it's very appealing, something these motorhomes really needed. You got your manual uh, volume controls down below, which is always, always a good plus. You always want the manual uh, switches. And then you get 12 volt outlet down below, USB outlets, you're gonna have your traction control, you can turn that on and off, and then your hazard lights. Then you get more storage space underneath that. Then going over to the passenger side, you do get your dash workstation, which is really nice. That way your counterpart can have their laptop out, your Atlas out, whatever it is. Find your way around, you get 12 volt outlets, you get 110 outlets. Uh, it's very efficient, you get nice air conditioning on both sides. And you see your speaker down underneath there as well, go with your 110 and nice, passenger seat is there, what, there as well. And remember those passenger and driver seats swivel around, adding to the living area, giving you extra space. And then you do get side view curtains right there that close off and give you nice privacy when you're 
uh, parked up for your night and you get the privacy shade that comes all the way down electrically in the front area. And then you do get more storage up top here. So that way, if you got maps or anything, you just wanna store up here, it's nice and simple. But the coolest thing is you do get the mirrors. So that way, if you get passengers in the back, kids, you can keep an eye on them, have just a conversation um, and keep you nice um, and occupied while you're driving. A few things to go over in your step well. This rotary switch right here turns on the power supply from your house batteries. So whenever you're using your motorhome, you wanna make sure this is on. To turn it on, rotate it clockwise. To turn it off, rotate it counterclockwise. This also allows you to charge your house batteries. So it will charge anytime you're driving down the road, when you have your generator on, or when you're plugged into shore power. This right here controls the steps, turns it on and off. This right here is your 10 amp solar controller. So on the roof, you have a 100 watt solar panel that's got 10 gauge wiring going down to this solar controller, and that controller has 10 gauge wiring going down to your batteries. So that allows you to have clean, free energy to keep your batteries nice and charged. This right here is your Xantrax inverter control. So your inverter can volt 12 volt power to 110. Now, what the inverter really does is it allows you to use the refrigerator without having to run the generator, be plugged in, and use up fuel. So how this works is you turn this on, and when that's on, it allows the outlet behind the refrigerator to be hot, and now the refrigerator is on. So, also, when you have this, you're also gonna have auto gen start. So with the auto gen start, what it will do is you can set it to a certain voltage. So if your batteries drop below a certain voltage, your generator will automatically turn on, which will charge up your batteries until the desired voltage that you need. And that way allow you to keep that refrigerator running nice and efficiently. But your inverter, it's a pure sine wave 1800 watt inverter. Right here, this is gonna be your switch panel. Now it has different functions to operate the step well lights, living ceiling lights, cargo lights, awning lights, and then the lights master on or off, and then retract and extend the awning. So it's very simple before you even go outside, you can turn all your cargo lights on, your awning lights, get your awning ex extended out, um, nice and easy. You can also turn all the lights on or off, um, all of them, it's very simple to use. Now this is your seven inch multiplex panel. This controls everything in the motorhome. So you're gonna notice right here, you have all your lights, master controls. You can turn them all on or off. You can see all your tank levels. You can turn on your water pump. You can turn on your water heater, uh, if it's gas or electric. You can see your chassis and house batteries. You can start or stop your generator and then turn on your AGS. You can also see your um, temperature in each climate zone. The next page right here, that's gonna be your auto gen start settings. Now this is all set at the factory, so you don't have to do anything. Uh, but it's based on time, temperature, and voltage. So you can, uh, if there's a certain quiet time at the campsite, you can set it to the quiet time. So you can set it to the voltage. And you can also set it to the temperature, which would be the HVAC load that you see right there. And you can adjust how many retries you want, um, maximum gen run time, um, the voltage, the times you wanna set it at. It's very easy. The light page is gonna control all the lights in the area, like your cargo, your step well, your awning, your living ceiling. And what's nice is in, you have the ones with the arrows, you can actually adjust the lighting. So they actually dim. So you hold it, it dims the light, and then you hold it again, it'll turn right back up to what it should be. So very efficient there. Temperature, so here you control both the front and the rear ACs. Now, one thing to remember with your air conditioners, you gotta have your generator running or be plugged into shore power for your generators to be operating. And whenever you're operating your air conditioning, they're only gonna cool down the motorhome 15 degrees colder than the ambient temperature outside. So one thing to remember, some tips to use to cool down your motorhome is the night before, the morning of, or when you're driving to your campsite, start your ACs when it's seven deg 70 degrees outside, set it to 70 degrees, put it on auto so that way your air conditioning units will turn on or off as needed to keep the motorhome at 70 degrees. Because if you wait till noon and it's 95 degrees outside and you try to cool this motorhome down, you are not gonna cool this thing down in a five or six hour period. So it's always a good thing to do it in the morning. And when you do have the motorhome nice and cool, have the windows open in the morning, the shades open in the morning, not the windows, my apologies. Um, and then once the sun starts to come out around noon, 
put all the shades down, dim your lights a little bit, do everything you can to keep it nice and cool inside the motorhome. Also limit how much you go in and out of the motorhome as well, letting cold air um, out of the actual living space. Because one thing you'll do, if you set the temperature to 70 degrees and it's 100 degrees outside, you're not, you're gonna basically be running your air conditioning units at full power. And what they're gonna do is they will never stop and eventually they'll freeze up. And it's gonna take you several hours to actually defrost those coils in the air conditioning units and it's gonna be blowing hot air and then you're gonna be miserable inside your motorhome. So just set it to cool, put it on auto, leave it at 70, 75 degrees, uh, 15 degrees colder than the ambient temperature outside and you'll be good to go. You can also control your fans right here, uh, your front bath, your rear bath, and then right here is your slides. So it's gonna give you a caution whenever you're operating your slides. And remember, whenever you're operating your slides, you always want the engine on, parking brake engaged, and then you always wanna level your motorhome. You wanna keep it nice and level so that way the slides work more efficiently. But you have your extend and retract for each slide. And remember when you're getting your slides in or out, you wanna run them all the way out and all the way in. You don't just wanna partially put it out and then put it back in because what will happen is those slides will get out of alignment because these are electric slides, they run on two motors and they have tracks on the outside as well. So you wanna run them fully out or fully in. If they ever do get out of alignment, just hit the extend and retract button six times, hold it on the six and let it run its full cycle and the motors will resynchronize. Your settings page, this will allow you to connect to the mobile app, which is the Vega Touch Mirror app. Now this is very efficient. Download the Vega Touch Mirror app on the app store and you can actually control all the functions of the motorhome from your cell phone. So you can get your slide in or out, turn on your lights, turn on your generator. It's very efficient and it just operates off Bluetooth. But you can also reconnect uh, new switch panels. There's a cleaning mode. So that way, if you wanna clean this, you can just clean this off nice and easy and then hold it for 15 seconds and then this will turn back on after 15 seconds. There we go. All right, and that's all I got for you. I appreciate your watching. If you got any questions, Thor has a great YouTube page where you can see a lot of different uh, functions of their motorhomes, see how different things work, see different layouts. Um, you can go to their website, check out all their models. There's a lot of different things that they offer there. Um, also check out that owner's resources page if you own a motorhome and want to get, get all the manuals and everything. Uh, but a lot of stuff to check out. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more.